All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I want to give a double honor to uh, positive elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace and blessings to all the Akiyam around the world, uh, preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Okay. Uh, so, Brother Yakal from the Men of Valor, uh, South Carolina. I got uh, the Brother Shamar on the line, little, uh, little phone crack, uh, conference uh, uh, video. Okay. Two out of three uh, brothers from Men of Valor, South Carolina. So, uh, yo, ah. Uh, yeah, kind, kind, kind. Yeah, we on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, me and the brother about to uh, do this little, uh, you know, joint uh, video. Okay. Uh, out of my rocks, eyes, edifying. All right. And as you see on the screen, uh, did a video on this uh, the other day. Okay. About, uh, a Russian jet flew five feet um, from U.S. spy plane during tense Baltic Sea standoff. Okay. Now, all this stuff is going on, all right, because, wow, World War Three is on the brink, man. All right, and who is telling you that? The, the prophets of the Lord, man. The prophets of Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, man. All right, that's what we out here. Uh, we go on the highways and byways and prophesy and do these home videos, man. We prophesy about prophecies that's written in the Bible, man. And uh, World War Three is written in the Bible. That's why Russia and U.S. are about to have a nuclear war, man, and various other uh, countries. All right, I'm going to read a little bit about this article. We're going to get into some scripts. Say, a Russian jet reportedly flew within five feet of a U.S. spy plane's wingtip during a flight over the Baltic Sea, U.S. officials have claimed. Okay? Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you know that Baltic Sea is uh, in the Middle East, man. So what? That's basically the uh, valley of your house of pot, man, you know? And that's, that's where all this is uh, taking place, man. Why? Because it's prophesied about in the scriptures. Okay? Um, you got something you want to add, brother? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking, I, uh, you're probably going to get to it, but uh, the the, uh, the Russians came out and said um, anything west of, of the Euphrates River. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? I'm yeah. saying that, that they were going to target yeah. and sh shoot down any aircraft. See? They're talking about the U.S., man. So that's a, a, a big landmass that that uh, that Russia is uh, is patrolling right now. So mm -hmm. and Russia's been very, uh, you know, Putin has shown an enormous level of restraint because he, uh, the U.S. is continually provoking, you know, Russia and Iran and Syria. Um, so. You know, it, it, like you said, I, the, the, the tensions are, are uh, you know, are at an all-time high, man. That's right. That's right. Like yeah. you know, we just, hey, we just the watchmen bringing out the news, man. You know, we ain't saying we're gonna destroy America. We saying it's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. That's right. Set, set up by your how about Shimmy outside? All right, we just coming to tell you. All right, cause this is written about in scripture. This second Ezra is fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. All right, the Lord putting these words in our mouth to bring it out to our people, the Israelites. All right, to tell you to repent and come back to your true nationality, man, for this uh, Third World War uh, uh, is ushered in. Okay, and we're going to get into, uh, uh, you know, how Israel need to repent in a minute. But, uh, you know, hey, we speaking the words of prophecy, man. Okay, because this third world's war is on the break. Why? Because uh, uh, Esau has to pay, man, for all his atrocities and all you other nations, man. All right, you fucking uh, uh, you fucking gooks. All right, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> you fucking Elamites, man. All you nations got to pay for which I did to the children of Israel. You got any uh, scriptures? Go ahead. Uh. Yeah, you, something you just said in the spirit, uh, because you, you said, hey, you said, uh, because we know Esau is trying to make it sound like we're yep. gonna, we're going to be the ones responsible for this. Yep. But this is this is Yahweh Shimei Hashai rolling his program, man. You know, right. and, and and we get to watch that. That's you know? right. Because uh, the scripture says, I'm, I'm going to bring this piece up now because it's, 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 it's beautiful timing because of what you just said. Uh, yep. Yep. It's, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Time. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, yep. until the day that I rise up to the prey. See? All right, so that, that's that's Yahweh talking, man. So yep. he's going to rise up to the prey, and who's the prey? Yep. You know, who's he going to rise up to? Yep. Uh, all these all these nations, man. Yep. 
Yep. You know, because he's got a controversy with all these damn heathen nations. That's right, that's right, bro. Start, starting at the top. Yep, 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 yep. And, and, and the Amalekites, you yep. know, at the very top of that uh, pyramid, okay? That's right. He's going to rise up to the prey, man. It didn't say anything about we're going to be doing this, man. Time. Yeah, brother. So, uh, yeah, we ain't going to be... Uh, uh, you no know, brandishing AKs on the internet, man. And, right. and AR fifteens, man. Right. And we're gonna be uh harmless and serpents, wise as doves, man. Alright? Uh, of course it's time we wanna fucking uh, uh strangle you other heathens, man. Alright? But we yep. we go we live our life according to the scriptures and what the scriptures told us to wait on your how why how shot before we do anything, man. God, uh, and uh it says I'll finish this first out, it says for my determination is to gather the nations. So let's yep. gather the nations together, man. That's right, that's right. That, I mean, you, you talk, we talk about, like, Trump is doing this and Putin is doing that and Assad, Baba is, uh, you know, is doing this and Kim Jong-un. No, man. Yahweh Shimei HaShah has put the spirit on these rulers, man. You know, he's, put, he's ultimately going to put the spirit on these kings yep. of the north, you know, to push that button, you know, mm-hmm. so to speak. It says that I may assemble the kingdoms. So, listen to all this stuff, man. It says, wait ye upon me when I rise up, my determination, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So, mm-hmm. the scripture says that the most high is a consuming fire, man. Fine, bro. It's, it's going to be devoured, man. So, he, how is he going to devour the earth? And all these heathen nations with this nuclear war that's about to pop off. Fine. Fine, bro. So, so, so we're just, we're just, we're just innocent bystanders waiting on the most out of the up to the break. Fine, fine. And that's beautiful, man. Yeah, so, you know, we, we on the spirit, you know. But that's what we yeah. are, man. We're going to, uh, to destruction. Um, since you're right there, I'm just reading through, uh, jump to, um, chapter one, bro. And, uh, and start at verse 14. Somebody sent me the scripture today. Yep. I mean, this, you didn't have any idea. We didn't talk before we got on the phone, man. Yep. It's not a spirit deals, man. Yep. Yep. On Zephaniah 1 and 14. Yep. Great day of Yahweh is near. Come on. It is near and hasteth greatly. Yep. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Yep. So that's what the brother's been talking about, man. I mean, yep. this, this this thing is coming and hastening greatly. Yep. All right, bro. This is, uh, that, that the verse 15, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, yeah. a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Damn. See? I mean, bro, I mean, like, where do these Christian yeah. Christians get off talking about how happy and joyful yeah. the day of the Lord is going to be? Yeah, man? yeah. You know, because these Christians will tell you, well, we're going to float up into the sky. Yep. Yeah. We're going to go, go off with Caesar Borgia and live in the clouds forever. Yeah. And it's going to be a happy yeah. day. Nah, man. You know? Yeah. And the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, it would say, woe to them that uh, uh, wait on the day of the Lord. Uh, nah, I'm nah. chopping it up, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Uh, for, what, for what is it, you know? Yeah. Or I'm loosely paraphrasing. Yeah, God, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, what are, what are they waiting on it for? Because yeah. it, 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 it means their destruction, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. Like the brother say, man. That that's what's coming, man. Like the brother say, hey, we uh, uh innocent Boston is waiting on our power to uh, uh do this, man. All right. Bro. This is what we want, man. Cause our power said said it, and he gonna we were we are with whatever he says, man. You know. That's right, brother. All right. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, uh the Most High is uh setting up these uh king different kings of the nation to uh. uh to usher in this world, third world's war, so they can destroy everybody, man. And that's the spirit, man. Me and the brother, um, you know, um, had some couple precepts, man. But hey, that's how the spirit worked, man. He like we only hit probably like one of them, man, because that's how the spirit is, man. Yeah. Uh, I got one, uh, cause I said, uh, the Most High setting up uh these different heads of these countries. Uh, Proverbs twenty one and one, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. Yep. As the rivers of water, he turns it with us so ever he will. Yep. So uh Putin heart, okay, Kim Jong un, um fucking uh, uh Trump, okay, yep. Iran and president, their uh our hearts are in the hand of the Lord, man. That's right. right? 
and it's about to be a, th- a, a third world war, man. All right, and which is going to wipe out America and various other parts. That's right. That's right. Yeah, this this, this is a uh, it's it, it, it's it's insane when you listen to some of these secular you know truthers on the internet when you listen to their commentary regarding these end times events because they wow. they're not spiritual, man. You know what I'm saying? They 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 looking. They're telling they're telling you to uh, stock up on food and silver and guns and ammo. You know, you, like you said earlier, you even got uh, other camps. You know, brandishing weapons and posting pictures on Instagram of them. You know, uh, getting carnal. You know, but there is no there. There, there isn't going to be any solving these. Uh, these problems between these nations, man, that this, this is going to end in the outright destruction God. of all heathen nations, man. God. You know, that that's what they don't tell tell the people because they don't know, because they're not, the Most High is not dealing with them. Man. God. And uh, like you say, bro, um, it ain't going to be no uh, uh, settling this, basically, yep. And uh, yep. all those uh, different nations, all of them deserve it, all of them wicked. But you know who you know who the uh, uh, chief house of the wicked are. You know, God. It's uh, uh, Esau, man. Yeah. All right, and because Esau fucking proud and got their yep. damn uh, uh, hair in everybody business, man. All God, right, bro. And, that, and, and you got that in Habakkuk. Yep, got it right here. There you go, bro. Uh, this uh, Habakkuk uh, chapter um, two verse five. Yay! Also. Because he transgressed by wine, and, and that's that what? That's that philosophy, man. Yep. That's that uh, uh, be whatever you want to be, that Babylon. You can be a faggot, whatever. And those yep. other nations uh, are not having it, man, okay? The other nations right. not having their uh, women dress up like whores and stuff, man. That's right. All right? So they, they don't want that wine. Yea, also, it's a lot. Habakkuk 1 and 5. Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home, who enlarged his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather him unto all nations, and heap it unto him all people. He said they uh, they cannot be satisfied, man. All right? Because these uh, Edomites are not satisfied with just running... Uh, USA, hey, they want to want run and run the whole fucking world, man. Yep. You know? Go hey, ahead. Uh, yeah, I could, I could jump in. And that's Fine. because uh, that, that's prophecy in itself because the Most High said that he was going to give the whole earth into their hand, man, pursuant to yep. uh, that's right. you know, 24. That's right, bro. Uh, you know, I just, through the spirit tonight, before you and I uh, hooked up on this call, man, I mean, uh, we was talking um uh, about that quick video you put up earlier, man, on this on this uh, article you're reading, I found a, a, a article that was just published today about uh, the U.S. imposing uh, new sanctions against Russia over uh, this Ukraine conflict. Mm-hmm. Now, what what the hell? Like you say, man, what what the hell business of it is if mm-hmm. Russia wants to gather that satellite back? You know, what what kind of uh, what kind of coalition did Esau build? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he, he acts he acts unilaterally. You know, he doesn't he doesn't consult with anybody. He just come on, bro. Come he on. just does it, bro. I mean, like he just goes in, just like he went into Syria five years ago for uh, for what? Because uh, these Jewish, the so called Jewish people, the synagogue is Satan according to the scriptures. That's right, bro. They want a pipeline in Syria and they want to carve that shit up. And so they just took it. Yep, yep. And then, have, and then they have the nerve to set up Assad. You know, not, not, I'm not trying to defend. You know, these are all heathens anyway. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, but it's a sovereign country, man. You mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm. And they didn't have one good shred of evidence to point to, uh, like they said in 2003, that, that uh, Hussein was dealing with in weapons of mass destruction, they said Assad was gassing his own people. It's the same old oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, kind, brother. Kind, brother. You know? Kind. They just, just, just like, if this, a back of 205, if it ain't, if it ain't talking about America, then who, who is this talking about, man? Kind, bro. Kind. You know, they go 
with every country. And like